We're a UK-wide charity that supports communities to grow, farm and garden together. Normally, we'd be out and about with community groups on site, but when the coronavirus lockdown restrictions were imposed, we realised we had to change the way we were working. We reacted to the growing interest in people growing their own fruit and veg at home and applied for funding to put together our Growing Hope project. We were awarded grants from Community Foundation Wales and Food for Life get-togethers along with donations from Dobies, Vegware and Land of North Allotment Association, we were able to put together a thousand growing kits to be distributed across Cardiff. With help from Green Squirrel and Food Cardiff, we were able to produce this leaflet to go into the growing kits, which tell people all about the project, how to interact with us on social media and how to grow their seeds at home. The kit also contains a small amount of compost, a small packet of seeds, a wooden stick for labelling and it all comes in a little takeaway container. We distributed the kits across Cardiff with the Cardiff Council food parcel packages and through mutual aid groups and this is how it went. Here we are, this is where the food parcel deliveries go out from Cardiff Council. We're in Cardiff and we're just going to drop off 200 growing kits uh, to the Steckham. We'll be distributing them across the city to people who are shielded and isolated. Um, it's a great venture. I'm glad we're able to help you with this project. We knew there was a lot of great work going on across the city and other projects were distributing seeds, plug plants and produce. We wanted to get together with these projects to all work in partnership so we used the Edible Cardiff Network to recruit a couple of volunteers to help put our packs together. Here are Alice and Poppy explaining why they decided to help. I live in Splot and I volunteer for the Growing Hope project. Um, I really enjoy putting together the packs because at home we're growing things and I know how much joy it can bring to people and knowing when I pack each of those little boxes with the seeds and the compost that someone will be um, getting that joy seeing things grow while they're in lockdown um, is really why I did this. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed volunteering for the project. We've been helping with the Growing Hope project. Um, packing some seed boxes for people to grow grow veg in their home and the reason why well I think growing veg can really especially at this time be a really good thing for people connecting with nature and even just watching a plant grow can give people yeah a sense of hope and a promise for the future and maybe especially for people who've never had the opportunity to grow I think it yeah perhaps it might so it so a metaphorical seed for perhaps starting a garden into the future he heard about the uh, growing hope project i wanted to get involved and it was it was great fun to do something else and uh, collect all those um seeds packets and everything so hopefully you'll be enjoying it Basically, these are going to go everywhere in the Star community, which is Splot, Tremor, for Adams Down and Rove. And there is going to be a substantial amount going towards our um, friends in Butte Town as well. And I say we've been working really close with Flourish. Um, Flourish have really helped us a lot with all the gardening stuff and instructions. And they're even doing the community projects on the allotments and everything like that. Gardening at this moment in time is probably the best and only thing people can do at the moment. So, yeah, it's really nice to see that people will have a chance to grow some stuff in their own gardens. Hi guys, it's Sam here from Eggseed, and I've been helping the Growing Hope project run by Edible Cardiff and Social Farms and Gardens by helping make up and distribute over 200 of these lovely windowsill seed packets through the five different GPs in the East Cluster of Cardiff. What we're hoping to do is encourage people to sow and grow their own little fresh leaf salads or herbs on their windowsill and hopefully theirs will start looking something like this in a week or two. Sure. So I reached out to Elisa because um, I heard about these amazing, amazing projects she's doing um, called Growing Hope and I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to really benefit some of the young people I work with. I've got quite a few young people who've got a real interest in growing their own things, whether that be gardening um, or even to try something new. So um, yeah, I reached out and she said, oh, we've got 15 kits that we can kind of donate to you and that kit made me really excited. Um, so in kind of dropped off these kits to us and I'm going to look at distributing them because we don't just have young people in Cardiff, we have them all over um, sort of like in the valleys and in Newport. So particularly those who might be rurally isolated, these are really going to help them focus on something um, more exciting.
we're just at the uh, centre here in Broadway, and uh, just handing the, handing the uh, food packs over. Okay, thank you.